How was up, y'all? What's cracking? What's popping? It's D. Boss, you react to this video. It's titled Ariana Grande Boyfriend Drama is a Mess. Fan switching up. Oh, Lord. She's back with some drama with SpongeBob. Let's get an update and see what's going on with them. Let's watch. Ariana Grande and her boyfriend Ethan Slater have got to be just as confused as I am right now with what the heck is going on online. These two have gotten so much hate since getting together, and all of a sudden, things are kind of turning around in their favor. Oh, like and them. I just know that they are like, what the heck is going on? Because honestly, the internet can't even explain itself for this one. This sudden flip is honestly so random. It maybe has something to do with the fact that Wicked is about to come out and love Wicked. Kid, but people are switching up and we are going to spill on how we kind of got here what people are saying because this is just a crazy situation it's truly been a wild year for ariana grande with a lot of ups and downs from people absolutely ripping her apart online to the year ending with a ton of praise with the movie wicked about to release into theaters what? it's really insane to see how everything is unfolded but as the movie inches closer to its premiere date fans have seemed to soften to the idea of her and her boyfriend ethan slater which is shocking when you think about how things were just a couple of months ago when she first released her album. All this drama surrounding her and her relationship started last I'm summer when the world found existence. out that Ariana and her husband Dalton had been separated since January and that they were heading towards divorce. They'd been married since 2021, but reports had come out that Dalton was not exactly loving Ariana's famous lifestyle. Since their relationship blossomed during the pandemic, he hadn't really been exposed to her famous lifestyle, and that included tons of travel and paparazzi. Things only got harder for them when she moved to London to film Wicked. But since they kept their relationship extremely private compared to Ariana's other relationships, fans were shocked when the news broke that the two of them were splitting up. Things got even crazier when news broke that Ariana was already seeing someone new, one of her Wicked co-stars, Ethan Slater. With that Ariana was already seeing someone new, one of her Wicked co-stars, Ethan Slater. When the news broke about this, people were like, oh, this is fake for sure because this guy is married and he just had a baby with his wife. But the news was true and soon after this came out, articles were updated saying that Ethan and his wife Lily J, who had been married since 2018, had split and that's apparently when Ethan and Ariana started dating. The <laughs> internet was absolutely roasting the man. They were looking at photos of him, finding out that he played Spongebob on Broadway. They were making fun of his looks, saying that he looks like no. Oh, is this the Back to the Future man? No, he can't still be alive. I mean, maybe he is. Uh, I don't know what's happening. Brother Frankie. And couldn't believe that Ariana would ever be with him. It was also reported that Ariana had hung out with Ethan, his wife, and their baby multiple times before they actually got together, which <sighs> made fans even more She's upset. Girl, we know. It gets what's worse because Ethan's wife came like out to the press to address the situation, saying that she was blindsided by this whole Ariana romance, telling Page Six, Ariana's the story, really, not a girl's girl. Jay exclusively tells Page Six, my family is just fake. collateral damage. To make things worse, Mama. Ethan didn't officially file for divorce from Lily until one week after news of him and Ariana had come out. And their whole relationship has been a oh, huge weird. topic of conversation for the last year year following the two whenever they've done press oh, ariana heard. spoke out in february to zach sang about her upcoming album and talked about how people have made so many assumptions about her and also judged the person that she loves aka ethan and she says that she was not happy at all with the things that people have been saying feeling like everything was portrayed totally wrong i it was hate his that face ariana something is off and it's not just that he's unattractive which you know he is in my personal opinion but whatever i ain't fucking him i don't care it's not just that he's unattractive because i you know i see ugly people all the time <laughs> so that's not what's uh you know disturbing me but just something about his face is off just mark my words okay bookmark this usually when i have when i'm repulsed by somebody's face that means something is up with them you know because i feel like i'll be picking up on shit <laughs> i pick up on people's people's uh energy and i you know it's it's conveyed through their faces and i i don't like his face not because he's ugly not just because of that but because something dark is hiding there Something sinister is going on. It's just something I don't like. Keep this in mind if something come out. Lost around 350,000 followers on Instagram following the drama surrounding Ooh. her relationship with Ethan. And tons of people were assuming her to be a homewrecker. But once her album had fully come out, people were I looking into the it. lyrics, feeling like her husband Dalton wasn't this Ooh. great guy Ooh. and that he had been with other people. And fans at the time tweeted, Dalton cheated on Ariana in her own bed and the general public painted her as the bad guy. They truly don't deserve this album. The fact Ariana was getting so much hate on the internet while she was dealing with so much ish, we didn't even know. Y'all don't know. She could have made it up. Why do people like her? 
her now. Together until Get him to and his it. wife had separated from each oh other. And Ariana God. and him continue to tell the press that they have gotten it all wrong, what went down, and how they got together. She further defended Ethan at the beginning of last month when she told Vanity Fair oh, in an interview, yeah. it definitely doesn't get any easier. Seeing some of the negativity that was birthed by disreputable tabloids, Grande says, of course I went through a lot of life changes during the filming of this movie. A lot of people that were working on it did. We were away for two years, so of course I understand oh, why it was a field day for the tabloids to sort of create something that paid their bills. Mm -hmm. The popular narrative, Grande says, doesn't accurately reflect her and Slater's original story. The most disappointing part was to see so many people believe the worst version of it. She says, that was definitely a tough ride. She went on to further defend him and his character and even talked about her own relationship with fame and saying, there couldn't be a less accurate depiction of a human being than the one that the tabloids spread about him, says Grande. She disputes That's specific so allegations, but tells me she will never go into certain details. Instead, she emphasizes Is this how people her like him now? Do they believe her? No one on this earth tries harder or spreads themselves thinner to be there for the people that he loves and cares about. There's no one on this earth with a better heart, and that is something that no BS tabloid can rewrite in real life. And Ethan has done some press as well now, speaking out for himself about his relationship with Ariana and having a good support system. And obviously, there's been a lot said about them. In a recent GQ interview, they wrote, you also fell in love making this movie. I say to him, can you tell me a little bit about what that was like? He says, yeah, he nods, taking a sip of his water, he laughs blushing. I too laugh blushing. That's a really sweet question, he says finally. That's really nice of you to ask. That's a really sweet question. But he continues, composing himself quickly. Obviously, it was a really super big year, he says, and I think there was something that was really difficult about really things in your question. private life being commented on and looked at by the public. There were a lot of big changes in private lives that were really happening, so it's really hard to see people who don't know anything about what's happening commenting on it and speculating and then getting things wrong about the people you love. So just to address that part of it, that feels really hard. He goes on to praise Ariana and saying that he's proud of her in this role in this film and goes on to talk more about the industry saying, I've got an amazing support system of family and friends who I talk to and confide in, something he's thankful for in an industry that can be a little tough that I'm just starting to get a taste of both sides of. But also again, he points out some of the hard parts that you're talking about are the personal life stuff that everybody in the world goes through. And so I'm really focused on the real people in my life who those things affect and doing right by every person and not the Twitter people who comment on it. You can hear him being careful, Twitter thinking people. of those real people, the ones who exist outside this moment, like Jay, aka his ex-wife, and the two-year-old son they're co-parenting. Another part of his life he's weary of addressing today. Being a dad, he says gently, is the best thing in the world. It's been an interesting thing to navigate as a new parent. There's nothing I want to do more than just show you pictures and talk about him because he's the best and the light of my life. But I also want to give him the opportunity to meet the world on his own terms, to meet the world in an analog way and not the world. Why and would this we... was sort of the beginning of this Ethan. Why would we meet this baby? He, we we barely know you. So what do you mean introduce him to the world when he's ready? And why does he need to be introduced to the world at all? I don't even know your name, SpongeBob. But more importantly, it sounds like he's trying to get clapped. That's a cloud ass comment. Dude, are y'all paying attention? <laughs> are y'all listening? The fuck you mean? We don't want to. It doesn't make any sense to say that about your baby. Like, especially given how much hate you've received online, you know, connected to this situation. What do you mean when my baby gets introduced to the world on his own time like what what is that I, something that just feels off about that it sounds off i don't trust them that's all i'm saying redemption arc you guys and it is really confusing but if she's happy girl whatever as he has done more press for wicked people have commented on videos of him on the red carpet or just with ariana and are changing their minds about him especially after one video where a man fooled. wanted to give ariana a <laughs> i'm not she was asking ethan if he would give it to her ethan how about we come on good is it possible for you to be the sorry for me Appreciate you coming if you want. I can do that. Yeah. Want me to? Yes, please. Sure. Pretty please. Yeah, of course. Really appreciate that. Sure. She'll love it. I'm sure she'll love it. Yeah. Okay. On your phone. Yeah. Y'all cannot see these things and just assume that. Oh my God, they're so sweet. They're so nice. Of course, they want to appear that they're nice. He sees the goddamn camera. You got a camera pointed at him. Your phone is up like this as you talk to him. He ain't about to be like, fuck out of here, bitch, with this cheap ass gift. She don't want this bullshit. She can buy better stuff. He ain't gonna say that. Of course, he's gonna be like, oh my God, this is amazing. Oh, I love y'all. We love y'all. This is great. She'll love it. Of course, he's gonna say that. Ah, oh, people are naive. People have commented on videos saying this video just changed my whole opinion of him. He seems so sweet. Ari, oh, I'm so stupid. <laughs> 
Well, I'm here. I'm conflicted. Wait, Ari, I'm seeing it, Queen. Wait, guys, can we huddle for a sec? There was also a video of him at the Jennifer Hudson Girl. show where her crew likes to sing to the guests before they walk out and go on stage for the interview. And for some reason, people just loved the way that, that he was theory. right before going out onto the show. And he got some major brownie points for people. Recently, at one of the premieres for Wicked, the two of them were also seen oh, hand in hand walking into the crowd, trying to find their seats. And for some reason, this video went everywhere, and people were like, I haven't seen them interact like this. They're actually kind of cute. Fans are truly divided more than ever now, and it's just been wild Darn to see stupid. because, like I said, a few months ago, <laughs> it is so dumb. At this man coming for his looks oh, and his character mama. and everything. So it's just crazy to see how quickly the internet can switch up and change their minds about someone, especially when the hate was so brutal at one point. Exactly, and this is why, as celebrities, y'all should never take this shit personal or serious. These people have fucking ADHD. They have short-term memory loss. They are not to be trusted. Their feelings are not to be trusted at all. <laughs> you got to just ride the wave, let it die off, and then, look, people forget all of a sudden. And now they think you the, the second coming of Jesus because you took a, a cheap-ass bracelet and put it in your pocket for her. Bye. I mean, obviously, I'm joking. I'm being silly, okay? I don't know these people. He could be great for her. And we, and we don't know all the details. Like she said, you know, people uh, created this, the worst version of the events possible. And she's claiming that it was all a lie. It was a lie. And she said that none of that actually took place. So, you know, what the fuck do we know? We don't know what happened. So he could be great for her. They could be very happy in love and doing all the right things, obviously. We, we don't know these people, but... It's just interesting that people are like, oh my God, he's so great. We love him. <laughs> it's like, what? Y'all been just dragging this man through the mud. Like, it's, it's just wild. Anyway, I wish him the best. I hope everything works out. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you want to watch, and I'll see y'all the next time. Bye.